welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first video of 2021. My name's Andrew Jensen. I'm here in Jacksonville, Florida, and I'm hanging out with this fine gentleman, Mr. Devin Surrey, younger brother to Julian Surrey, ever heard of him? We're gonna practice, we're gonna talk about Devin's goals, what we learned from 2020 and what we're gonna do in 2021. So, let's do this. What, did you think because it was a new year I wasn't gonna have a new intro? Come on. January in Jacksonville, it's an interesting time. You wake up in the morning and it's like 30 or 40 degrees and then you see maybe, just maybe, it'll get into the 60s and today's one of those days. I'm headed to meet up with Devin, gonna practice with him, talk to him about his year. Before we do that, gotta, you know, get that focus on point because it is January, we're going hard. Little beam action. Let's go. There he is. What's going on, Bubba? Andrew, good morning. Morning, happy, happy new, new year. year. Little, oh, little one of those. There wow. we go. It's gonna be one of those years. Huh? It's gonna be one of those years. Yeah, we're at Southampton. Devin, Devin's always here with me, practicing away. Practices a lot more than I do now. We're just gonna get to work, right, man? Yep. What are we working on? Working a little bit on my my takeaway. Always getting my hands in and my getting the club a little bit more vertical at the top, and uh, and then flattening it out on the downswing. Right. That's on. pretty much what I'm working on technically. Gonna be focusing on that today. I think you only love me cause I'm popping. This a layup, this a rebound, then it's driving. Tasting with the fade, not the air, my hands rocking. When I link with ball point, you know it's not, 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 not again. I'm not the same. Think of money, maybe. What's this contraption you got here? Just a band I put under my left foot and on my grip. Uh, it gets me to fold my right arm on my takeaway. And then on the downswing, I'm trying to feel like I'm opening up with my chest. Something I want to do some like technical work in between every sh every yeah. shot that I hit. So therefore, when I hit the ball, I'm feeling what I'm trying to work on, not just hitting the ball. This man's always grinding away. Dan has him. I mean, Dan gives us drills, and they're just awesome to do a lot. Like when I'm in the garage, I just do so many of these drills. Devin and I work with the same coach. So does his older brother, Julian. Not necessarily like we're all working on the same thing, but the principles maybe are the same. But what your swing looks like, my swing, Julian's, like we all have a different look. But in theory, we're trying to accomplish, I guess, the same thing? Yeah, trying to get to like a neutral place where it's just simplifying. And just and rotating it. through the ball, yeah. basically. Yep. Rock and roll. big video guy videotaping my swing yeah do you film your swing watch i do i try to at least uh once once a day just to see where yeah, i'm yeah. at i'm not obsessive over it i don't have but, you been obsessive over it like i remember when like i got into like would start videoing in like 2010 like 10 years ago basically like, i would obsess over positions and i would hate looking at my golf swing yeah i think you it's easy had to that yet that's good well maybe times in the past i've been a little too critical of my yeah. swing and, and try to look at every little detail so you got to be careful with it can rely on it all the kind time of get in the way of actually hitting the shots and playing yeah. right it's very easy to play golf swing especially when you spend a lot of time like practicing and not competing like this last year has been weird for that right? yeah it's easy to spend too much time on the range because you have no tournaments and you're tinkering and you're like, oh, it feels great out here, but yeah, you have nothing to put, like nowhere to do it. Right. And then you can lose it just as fast as you got it, kind of thing. Bands make her dance. Bands make her dance. Julian loves these bands too, yeah? <laughs> if only we could play with them on. This time last year, you were in India, right? Or were you leaving for India or were you in India? Yeah, exactly a year ago, I think I just, just got to India. Um, I was going to do the PGTI, that's the Professional Golf Tour of India Q School. Pretty good tour they have over there, they have like 15 events a year. There's a lot of incentive, world ranking points, play your way on to the Asian Tour and uh, eventually to the European and the PGA Tour. So that was kind of the, the plan uh, last year, so I, yeah. did, I did that Q School. And then from there I did the, uh, I played on the MENA Tour, that's the Middle East North Africa Tour which is a developmental to the European and the Challenge Tour. Again, there's a lot of good opportunities there in terms of getting into bigger events in Europe and in Asia. And then... And then... COVID happened. Co COVID happened. What's that? This is another one Dan likes to get us doing. 
yeah, pretty much the same feel that I'm trying to do here with my takeaway and downswing. All about exaggerating feels, right, when we're practicing? Yeah, because feel isn't real. Exactly. So you turned pro in 2019, basically? Yeah, at the very end of 2018. Yeah, end of it. So that was essentially like your, your second year as a pro, but it was like your first year really kind of experiencing it. That's something that's different for me growing up in Canada. Like growing up here, you've got professional golf everywhere right. in Florida. But you were like probably your brother's encouragement to like get out there and experience like p traveling, playing because that's professional golf. And yeah. I knew it was going to be really good for you, like good for your game and like good for you to get up, broaden your horizons. And like as you started to, you were trending in the right direction and then COVID happened, which brought you back home. Mm -hmm. And then it's just been like this perpetual. Yeah, there's a little, <laughs> there's obviously still a little bit of uncertainty yeah. in terms of uh, traveling abroad. And the tour situation, even in 2021, it's going to be yeah. a little... But I think there's light at the end of the tunnel. As a player, like I remember every year I would look back and be like, okay, this is what I learned this year and this is, I'm gonna push it into next year. Obviously last year taught everybody a lot. Your, your game, your, your comp competition, all of that, what are you kind of expecting looking forward to this year? Well, first step is to take like an evaluation of my yeah. own game. Yeah. And I feel like I can definitely get better in all areas, but definitely like my proximity to the hole, my iron play is something that can be a lot better. You know, giving myself more birdie chances inside yeah. of 20 feet. That's something that I'm working on. I'm obviously working on the technical aspect, mm -hmm. on the range and feeling it. Because you drive the ball really, really well. Whenever we've played, that's always it's always been a strength of your game from yeah. what I've observed. Short game is always really strong. You and Julian do a lot of practicing, like fun stuff you used to do when you were a kid. Yeah. I've mentioned his brother, Julian, European Tour winner, Challenge Tour winner. It's been good the last few years to see him. You know, he when he first yeah. turned pro, he didn't have you know instant success but how he's worked really hard um at every level and progressed to be a good um motivation for you right yeah, yeah yeah and like i i've seen him you know playing mini tour events and missing cuts and being frustrated with his swing and then you know i've seen him battle injuries and i've seen him contend in major championships and it's really i'm very fortunate to have an inspiration that I, you know, see every day yeah. or talk to every day. Some of you may not know, Devin is a master of impersonations and voices. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps it light when we're on the range. <laughs> do we dare? You, can you do you, 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 you didn't tell me this video was going to be about that today. Hey, whatever, man. Just letting people know who you are. Yeah, I'm, unfortunately, those performances are only done in private. So yeah, you those... Gotta get, you got to get to know me a little better, slide in. You know, and then yeah, first ter first tournament of the year, next week, right? Yes, it's uh, and then basically like that's that's the plan for now. Like just kind of play things around here in Florida, some corn fairy Mondays, I'm guessing. Probably, yeah. possibly, but for the time period, I'm just focused on um, mini tour events in Orlando, trying to get my competitive reps, get my yeah. scoring average down, because at the end of the day, like good golf is universal. It doesn't matter yeah. what, yeah, whether I'm playing a mini tour event in Orlando or playing in the masters like fairways and greens and making the putt and the pretty... bigger like cell sample you can get mm -hmm. of competitive reps yeah basically the better because it's, it's it's comfort and it's like as opposed to like what i've done in the last two years like play the odd tournament yeah. and it's feast or famine and it's like 99 times out of 10 it's gonna be famine and you can't gauge yourself off that but you can lose a lot of confidence like that so you're fortunate you have a lot of stuff that's affordable nearby give you your reps and then hopefully this year opens up doors your game will open up doors i believe that but like the professional golf world hopefully those doors open as restrictions open basically yeah i hope so too <laughs> before we go let's dive into the whoop data of that session with devin 10 44 to 12 20 544 calories average heart rate 116 max heart rate 163 pretty good little session given the fact that i was 44 percent recovered today didn't go too hard but that is what 
a practice session looks like for the start of Devin Surrey's day. My day's done, I'm headed home. Devin is still out here working, so now he's on to the short game. I'm gonna go have some lunch to start editing because this is my gig. But Devin, I wish you well, sir. Good luck next week at, in the Mayfair. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. That's it, I hope you enjoyed that first video of 2021. If you did, smash that like. And uh, if the red button's there, you know, hit that subscribe button. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. Peace.